What's up, everyone? I'm Brea Thorne coming to you from Computex 2024 in Taipei, Taiwan. Let's go, nerds. So today, June 3rd at 9.30 a.m., Dr. Lisa Su delivered the official opening keynote for Computex. And as expected, though there was a lot of talk about AI and edge computing and stuff like that, they actually went into it very early talking about their new Zen 5 CPUs for desktop PCs, which is what we were really interested in, what we've been waiting for in the community. And I've been speculating a lot. If you've been watching the streams lately or maybe some of my earlier videos, maybe what it's going to involve and maybe when they're going to be launched. Will they be launched early or will it be in August like the 7000 series? Well, I'm pleased to let you know that I was pretty much spot on for everything and right about all of those speculations, which is, you know, I'll be humble about it. No big deal, no big deal, but still, we're gonna go over it right now. Now, as expected, as, as, I, was, as I was guessing before, this is much like the 7000 series processor launch when they uh, dropped the main product stack, but there were no X3D chips involved, and that's usually how it goes. The main line of chips will come out, and X3D chips will come out maybe a couple of quarters later, maybe a quarter later, depending. Instead of launching these three months later, we're looking at about six weeks, which is something that I was guessing. I figured they would be striking while the iron's hot. We're looking at a July launch for these, which is really exciting. I was guessing this because I figured that with certain things going on with Intel, maybe we won't get into that, but I figured that AMD would be more prepared to launch these sooner because this is gonna be, this is not a completely new socket or anything. And though they mentioned it is a ground up redesign, a lot of familiar things are there. The exciting part about this, well, there are several exciting things here that were announced during this part of the keynote. Uh, but the exciting thing about this is there are several factors that are put together to essentially provide an estimated average 16% uplift in IPC. This is first party slides, first party reporting. And of course, we do want to wait until we can get actual third party reviews when these CPUs are gonna be about to come out, when the embargo drops. We'll actually be able to see our favorite YouTubers out there testing these out and seeing what they actually get for, uh, for uplift here in performance. However, AMD seems pretty confident that this is gonna be a, a large uplift in IPC, which as you may know, when you have an, a large uplift in IPC and a small uplift in frequency, that uplift in frequency makes a much bigger difference in actual performance. Now, again, these are first party slides, so take them with a grain of salt. And you may want to hold off until we get those third party reviews. Maybe we'll be part of that. That would be a lot of fun, but we'll see. So the product stack is the standard Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, and Ryzen 9, the two Ryzen 9 processors with the 9600X, 9700X, the 9900X, and 9750X, which is the CPU that was talked about, of course, the most, being their new flagship CPU, being called the fastest gaming CPU on the planet. However, I will note that there was not much mention of the 7800X 3D, so we didn't get any comparisons there. And it's a little questionable what they were actually comparing it to. Well, we'll leave that for another time, once we can actually get some real reviews out and we'll actually see the new 9000 series processors charted against the incumbent top gaming CPU on the market, the 7800X 3D. Aside from that, there were some really exciting things here and we can go over the very small details of, you know, frequencies on each one, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is let me put up the slide here so you guys can actually see it. Um, there's no huge leaps in cache. There are no huge leaps in frequency. The IPC is actually gonna be do the heavy, doing the heavy lifting when it comes to performance increases. However, there are a couple tidbits that are just supremely satisfying to see here. So previously, when 7000 Series Ryzen was launched, the new socket AM5, AMD committed to, a, to supporting this socket until 2025, which as you may notice, we're already in 2024. Now, previously for socket AM4, AMD promised support up to 2020, and they're still releasing CPUs for socket AM4. There are some still being launched this year. So AMD really puts their money where their mouth is when it comes to supporting sockets, supporting existing platforms. When they committed during this keynote to supporting socket AM5 until 2027, my little nerd heart was all fluttering and I was just so happy to see that. So for those of you who have been answering in the PC matchmaking forums that you are interested in upgrading your CPU over time, guess what? 
going with AMD for those builds was, seems to be the right choice to make. Now, when in discussing the chipsets, they did talk about the X870 and X870E platforms. And there wasn't a lot of detail here, and they left out the B-series motherboards and A-series motherboards. But what they're promising here are, are USB 4.0 standard on all X870 and X870E motherboards. That's going to be fun to say a lot during the content. Yeah, love that. PCIe Gen 5 on graphics and NVMe on all of the motherboards uh, in the X series and higher AMD Expo memory clock support. Now, this is just them talking about the X series motherboards, the most expensive, the highest end that if you're just building a gaming PC, you're not going to need. And you can probably just grab yourself a B650 or B650E motherboard and have more than enough to run your gaming system. But for those into content creation or workstation tasks, or just kind of a PC that is for multi-purpose. It could be of interest to you to see what's coming out with X870 and X870E motherboards. Notably absent from the presentation was pricing, and that's not always the case. I'm hoping because they were pretty aggressive on price, uh, pricing with 7000 series, I'm hoping that they continue to be aggressive versus the previous generation, or at least come in at about the same amount just to keep things the same. But as you know, if you wait until launch and maybe give it a few weeks or a few months, that pricing will drop. So we'll see what happens, especially when it comes to Intel dropping their new CPUs and new platform, what AMD will do in response at that time. But so far for now, that's all I have to say about it. We've kind of covered all the, the, the important topics. So for those of you who have been waiting for the latest stuff, remember, when these come out, you don't necessarily need to get the latest and greatest because that can lead to those early adopter woes that if you're new to PCs, might not be for you. But the new products dropping will generally drop the price of current tech. And 7000 Series Ryzen still has a lot of performance to offer for any system and you'll be able to upgrade to 9000 Series and beyond down the line. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for tons more content coming to you from Computex 2024. Until then, Take care. Um, oh, okay. Hello. All right. That's for the blooper reel right there.